Hello friends. So in this session of part two of queuing theory, we will look into in detail of the Kandor notation. What are the assumptions and limitations of queuing theory? And finally, the single server model. So let's look into it. So first of all, what we are going to learn in from this session is assumptions and limitations of queuing theory. Whenever we are applying these models, we assume certain parameters. Right, and some of the limitations that is laid down by these models. Right, then we will look into the <coughs> characteristics of queuing theory. Then the Kendall notation, one of the important topic, exam point of view, and finally we will look into some of the formulas and the notations of this single server model, which is nothing but mm1 infinity infinity fcfs. So let's dive into it. So first of all. We will quickly revise the concepts, right? So, what are the concepts? Let's find out. Basic structure of queuing system: we have population of customers. They arrive into a system, which is comprising of the queue and the server, right? We already discussed in the previous lecture. So, what are the assumptions of this model, or you can say the queuing theory? The first of all is that the, the customers arrive at the random. They are served independently, right? Obviously, the model is FCFS. First come, first out. The customer is first. He will be served first. Here, then <coughs> we have the behavior, the normal. We will look into detail. What is the behavior uh, criteria? The customer behavior is normal. Here, service behavior also normal. Also, mean arrival rate is less than service rate. If it is the vice versa, then it is very difficult to manage the queue. But here, the arrival rate is less than service rate. And finally, the waiting space is infinite here. See, if you see all these cases of this model queuing model, it is you can say that the assumptions are definitely the limitations of the queuing model. So that is what in the limitations is that that it is not always the necessary the limited space waiting space is there. In assumptions, we have assumed that it is infinite, right? Again, still dependent arrival rate is there. Right? It is it is not always dynamic. Sometimes stationary. Arrivals cannot be like stationary, that is what we have assumed, but it can be dynamic, right? Again, FCFS is not always the case. First come, first serve. There are different cases service in random order, last come, first serve as well, or priority basis as well. And next, if you see here, steady state queuing system is not necessarily the case in transient. Right? Again, information sometimes. The solutions does not provide the complete um, information about the solution, right? That is also a case, or you can say the limitations of the queuing model. We assume in beforehand, so that that is why the solutions will work in that scenario. Okay. So next, what we will learn, we will also look into the characteristics. We have discussed this, but we will look into in detail the characteristics of the queuing system. We will start with the call populations, calling populations towards the queuing system. We have the arrival process. We have the queue, right? Queuing disciplines is there, service discipline is there, the departure discipline is also there, or you can say the departure is also there. The configurations of queuing system is also there. So let's fall with the populations. Now, the first one is the customers where they are originating from. The size can be finite or infinite where they are coming from, the customers, right? Next is the homogeneous world where we have the one type of customers, or you can say the heterogeneous where we have different type of customers are there arriving into the system now arrival processes what is the process the first one is that they are in what pattern they arrive in a pattern so what patterns they are arriving into the system next you have the how and when right they are arriving into the system the time patterns and how they are arriving right what are the patterns what is the time and again you assume the poison process for the arrivals now, why? Because Poisson process, many real world arrival processes are based model on Poisson processes. That is why we have used Poisson processes on this model of QN system. Now, the third is the service process. How long does it take? Now, what is the pattern of service? Right? What is the distributions of this or uh, service centers, or you can say these servers or the counters? Again, here the exponential service time is assumed. 
for arrival it is poisson process for the service it is exponential remember this thing now what is the mechanism for this service we have single server model multi server parallel services parallel queues are there we already discussed in the previous lecture right best examples is for the immigration bank counters for dentists for the single server multiple servers you have at the service stations right so all these are the service mechanisms now queue discipline we have first come first serve basis we have zero model which is service in random orders last come first serve priority basis service discipline is also there but there are certain rules here the rules are like spt shortest processing times right earliest due date is also there here the priority jobs are also there so based on these criteria we will decide the discipline now what are the behaviors so this is most one of the most important topic exam point of view first is bulking now how do you customers behave when they are in the queue bulking is when the customers just look into the queue wait uh, just look at the queue and then he or she will leave the queue or you can say he or she will leave the facility that is nothing but the bulking right second one is reneging reneging is what the customer will wait for some time he, will, he or she will join the queue or she will wait for a couple of minutes or you can say half an hour one hour and then after wait long waiting he or she will leave the service facility that is reneging but next one is jockeying you might have observed this thing in the mall where when three queues are there one of the queue is processing faster than what the customer will do customer is trying to jump into the next queue facility next queue system that is nothing but jockeying here the example is given when there are two or more parallel queues the customers move from one queue they will jump from one queue that is jockey this is frequently observed now what is this is again one of the most important topic candle notation this notation is frequently applied to different models so that you can easily visualize which model is to be applied to which processes right the model is a slash b slash c a semicolon d slash e slash f right now what is this uh, model principle is now a here if you have if you see here a is written inter arrival distribution right whatever the distribution is there for the arrival you will indicate that the b position is for the service time distribution previously we have already discussed that the arrival is poisson process and for b we have the exponential which is for the service distribution Right. What is C here? It is the number of parallel servers. But in our syllabus, we have just for the single server system, right? That is one. So C stands here for one, right? Next, we have D. D is the queuing discipline. What is that? Queuing discipline. We have E is queuing discipline like FCFS, zero, LCFS, first come first serve, last come first serve, and accordingly. E is the maximum finite or infinite allowed in the system. Basically, we assume for our model infinite to be allowed in the system, right? And the size of the calling source or the calling populations are really infinite. They come from everywhere. Populations that is infinite as well. So, what is our model in our syllabus? M M one infinity infinity FCFS. What do you mean by that? M M that is Markovian, or you can say the Poisson process, the sub um, distribution. Another M for the Exponential one, one is for the single server. Infinity, infinity is that the calling population is infinite. As well as here, if you see the system, the maximum number allowed are infinite, and the queuing discipline is FCFS, which is first come services. So in this way, we will notate the model queuing model A slash B slash C semicolon D slash E slash F, and each and every uh, letter here. Indicates the different distribution as well as different parameters. You have to remember this Cantor notation, one of the most important topic, right? Now, again, I already told this is the model which is in your syllabus single server model. There are again definitely different assumptions you will have to assume beforehand before solving the problems. The first one is infinite calling populations as well as the service area where you have. We have these service facilities. The Poisson process is assumed. The exponential service facility, uh, service pattern is assumed as well. Queuing discipline is FCFS, which is first come first serve, right? Waiting space is again infinite, and arrival rate is less than the service rate. If it is the other way around, when the arrival rate is more, it is very difficult to control the queue. Here. So here, if you see 
there are notations given here different notations are there why are they necessary for this model this notation is we have to remember because all the formulas are based on this model only so i have summarized all different formulas let's say for example traffic intensity which is one of the most important definition which is nothing but the probability that the service facility is busy or idle right it is nothing but the ratio of the customer arrival rate to the customer service rate clear now here definitely the traffic intensity should should always be less than 1 if it is greater than 1 if the queue is uncontrollable here one of the most important traffic intensity or you can say the utilization factor service utilization factor now different formulas are given here one by one the average expected time for the customer spends in the system in the queue right length of the queue waiting time for the queue waiting time for the system all this formula you have to remember so that you can easily solve the problems the notations are already given here right based on the model which we have discussed single server model and the formulas here are summarized here so you can solve the problems very easily now so in this session what we have learned first of all we have learned about the assumptions different assumptions of our model queuing model and limitations as well because these assumptions also behave to be the limitations of the system queuing system right. we also looked into the characteristics of the queuing system what are the different characteristics of the calling population arrival processes are there queuing disciplines customer behaviors like rummaging jockeying bulking right as well as the departure or you can see the service facility or service patterns and distributions we discussed about we also looked into the candle notation right one of the most important topic right how do you notate the different queuing models but only one model is in your syllabus which is the single server model which is mm1 infinity infinity fcfs so we will solve now we have once we have discussed the single server model certain assumptions which goes into this model in next lecture we will solve some of the examples based on this model clear apart from other model there are other models as well in the queuing theory but we have to only focus on this model because that is the model in your syllabus if you want to learn you can further explore from the reference books but i have only discussed this model and the example based on this model so in further next lecture we are going to solve the problems based on this model so till then thank you very much goodbye